Hi, in this video, I want to show you how to build a local AI chat in Python using Streamlit, Olama, and DeepSeek R1. You can think of the AI chat application we built in this video as a local version of DeepSeek chat or Grok. So we are going to power the AI chat app with the DeepSeek R1 model. To use the DeepSeek R1 model locally, we are going to use Olama. By downloading Olama, we can run open source models like Llama 3.3. DeepSeek R1, Microsoft 5.4, and all these models locally. So we want to run the DeepSeek R1 model via a simple chat interface, similar to Grok or DeepSeek chat. We will have only one input box and without all these features. So we have the input box and a send button. So to create the front end UI, we are going to use Streamlit. Streamlit is a Python library, which allows you to build data apps quickly using a pure Python code. So in our example, we are going to use Streamlit to build the user interface. Then we use DeepSeek R1 as the underlying model and save the model via Olama so that we can chat with the Streamlit UI entirely offline. So in order to begin, we need to fulfill some requirements. We should first download and install Olama from olama.com. So you come to this website and download it here for your machine. You have noticed here it is available for Mac Linux and Windows. So using Olama, we can run different distilled versions of DeepSeek R1. I have already downloaded one to illustrate this example. So in this video, we are going to use this version, DeepSeek R1 Distilled Llama 8B. We will come back to this later. So let's go to the other installations. Next, we set up a virtual environment in Python using these commands. So we configure the virtual environment and activate it. Then we install the Streamlit Python library. And finally, pull and run the DeepSeek R1 model using Olama. I have already performed all these installations and configurations. Once you are done with the installation, you can now launch your favorite editor and start coding. To verify whether Olama is installed successfully on my machine, I will simply put Olama. We have all this information about Olama, so that means it is successfully installed. We can also check the version with Olama dash dash version. You have noticed I have the version 0.5.7. Let's clear everything. In this example, I have already created this Python file, local deepseek r1 streamlit.py. So you have noticed here, I have imported the streamlit Python library. That will allow us to build the UI for this application. We import Olama so that we can use the deepseek r1 module locally. Then we import time for adding delays for text streaming when the model is generating the output. Over here, we define this function, stream data, to stream the model's response by splitting the input text into a list of words separated by a white space. Then we add a delay to pause execution between yielding each word. So by using the time.sleep method, we will be able to get a typewriting effect when the model is generating an output. Next, we create a text input with streamlit and assign it to this variable. Then we add a placeholder, ask DeepSeek R1. So by default, this is the text that will be displayed in the input field. Whenever we want to initiate a new chat with the AI model. Next, we have the chat history initialization. That is Streamless way of persisting data. Next, we display history of chats and then handle the user input. If a user enters a prompt, then we display it with this code. When a user enters a prompt and sends it, while the model is generating the output, we use the default spinner of Streamlit to display the progress. So we set this parameter, show time to true. Setting show time to true will display a count up timer for the duration of the output generation. Next, we create a response and use Olama to set the model we want to use. That is the DeepSeek R1 model. Next, we add the messages parameter and set stream to true in order to get a typewriting effect. And over here, we handle the streaming of the output. So we check to see if streaming is supported and execute this code. Otherwise, we execute a fallback for non-streaming. Finally, we add response from the model to the chat. So we can now go to the terminal and run the file and go back to the Olama website. This is the version we want to run. That is the one I already downloaded. So I will copy this command and paste it in the terminal and press the return key. You have now seen in the terminal, we can now chat with the DeepSeek R1 model 
via Olama. Since we want to chat with the DeepSeek R1 model via the Streamlit interface, I will open another terminal instance. So we have the model running with Olama in the first instance of the terminal. We can now go to the terminal and run the file. So I'm going to expand the terminal. To run the file, we can use Streamlit run followed by the file name. So over here, we have local deepseek r1 streamlit.py. I'll press the return key. So you have noticed here, we now have a link to view the app on the local host. I will press the command key and click it. So we have our local chat interface using streamlit. We can now enter any prompt and send it. I want to create a Swift UI app using the pencil kit framework from Apple. And we want the model to show the complete code. So let's send it. You have noticed we have a streaming effect and also progress animation of the chatbot. We also have a count up timer for the module generation duration. So this is how you can build your own local AI chat interface using Streamlit, Olama and DeepSeek R1. You can also use other open source Olama supported models instead of the DeepSeek R1 model.